anytime I see a case dealing with a classic car, I get excited. And this one deals with 1947 Cheese Italia. And I'll tell you more after this. In the case Lawrence versus Superior Court, the California Court of Appeal has to decide who gets to possess a classic vehicle that's worth more than a million dollars while the parties fight over who actually legally owns it. Brandon Lawrence purchases a 1947 Cheese Italia from a Japanese company. Now, a Japanese citizen says that the company that sold the vehicle actually stole the vehicle from him, or maybe more accurately, never paid the full price. So what he does is he files a stolen vehicle report with a California Highway Patrol, and the vehicle gets seized. The CHP seizes the vehicle and does a four-month investigation to determine who actually owns the car. At the end of the day, they can't figure it out. They don't know if it's a US citizen or if it's the Japanese citizen. But what they do is they keep the vehicle hidden from both parties in their secret location, and they say that the two parties have to essentially figure out in the civil court system who owns the car. They have to sue each other. Brandon Lawrence says that the CHP does not know how to take care of a 70-year-old classic vehicle. So he says that while they have to fight it out and figure out who really owns the vehicle, he gets to possess it. And the Court of Appeal agrees. The CHP has to return the car to Brandon. We know that ownership rights are different from possessory rights. But at the end of the day, the CHP does not get to keep the car because they don't have the possessory rights. Unless there's a criminal investigation, that's the only time that the CHP gets to keep the car. And so they have to return it to where they seized it from, meaning they have to return it to Brandon. That's where it was seized. And if you enjoyed this video, click like, subscribe, hit that bell button so you get notifications when I post more videos.